Would you become a customer of your own company? Would you buy your product the way it's currently priced, the way the promotion is set up for it, the ease of which I can become a customer? Would you like that as a customer? Hi everybody, welcome back. I am Neil Winterreg. So today I'm gonna to keep talking to you about customer service. We are making an entire little series here about customer service because that's something that people ask me about all the time. So be sure you look uh, down below for the playlist to have other videos. We're gonna be updating it every week. And uh, be sure you subscribe so you don't miss out, all right? Now, here's something I wanna talk about with regards to customer service. Um, we've talked about what is customer service. We've done a video with good customer service versus bad customer service. And we're gonna be filming a lot more, but I wanna kind of break down one other thing, um, which is how easy is it to make somebody a customer at your company? What is the process that it takes for that person to go from an interested person in your services to buying your services? Because people ask me all the time, should I do this, should I do that? Should I have a point of sale system? What point of sale system should I use? When people call, should I have a voicemail set up or should I have this set up or should I have that set up? Now, there's a thousand different options that um, a person might go through to become a customer of yours. So here's the most basic answer I have. Would you become a customer of your own company? Would you buy your product the way it's currently priced, the way the promotion is set up for it, the ease of which I can become a customer, um, the way that you swipe my credit card, the way I get your proposals, would you like that as a customer? Because what I tend to find a lot of times is I'll ask somebody, well, do you like this? And they go, no, I hate it, but I was told that people like it. Well, if you don't like it, I'm pretty sure that your customers aren't going to like it. If you call your bank, and you just love that you get an automated teller system and that you have to go through 18 different menus and hit zero a bunch of times before you get a real live person on the phone, if you love that, then do that to your customers. But if you hate that, don't make them jump through hoops. And I think that that's one of the funniest things that people do is that things which we don't like, we try and pass off to other people to do because that's the normal thing. Don't be normal, okay? Normal sucks. If you're normal, you are going to fail like all the other people who can't think outside the box. Think outside the box, okay? You, the sales rep, you, the business owner, whoever it is that you are, if you want to simplify the process, okay, ask yourself, is this how I would want to do it? I've worked with some companies that send out proposals for tens of thousands of dollars. You know, you are emailing a proposal and you're waiting for that person to open it and understand it and have no questions and then just pay you. Is that what you would want? If you opened up a proposal for a service for your house or whatever it might be, that's $50,000, and all they did was send you an itemized listing and a price, would you just click the pay button and give them $50,000 or would you have questions? You're probably gonna have questions. So wouldn't you want somebody to go over those with you? That's why I say, hey, Joe, I've got this proposal ready. I'd like to go over it with you. I know we can't meet, so I would like to email it to you. Are you in front of your computer? You are? Perfect. Let's go through it line by line because you're gonna have questions and I wanna make sure that I didn't miss anything. And you go line by line. That's how you would want to do it if you were about to pay somebody $50,000. Don't make your customers do something that you don't agree with, okay? So I wanna try and keep this as short as I can, but just, Think with the fact of if you were going to be a customer at the company you work for or for your own company or whatever it might be, would you like the process that you go through? And if you don't like it, then change it to what you think would be the best way of going about doing it. And if that later on proves to not be optimized and maybe you change a little bit here and a little bit there, then fine. Okay, but if you don't agree with the sales process, as a salesman, you're not gonna get somebody to go through it. And as a business owner, you're not gonna be able to take money from somebody that's something that you don't agree with. So the first thing I would say is that when you look at your customer service model and the process that it takes, if you don't agree with it, they won't either. So be sure you sort all that out and get it smoothed away. So that's my advice for you today. Be sure you subscribe, click the like button, look at the customer service playlist down below, and I'll see you next time.